Nice. Whoo, shit, almost dropped it. That was a close call. Almost dropped it one way on the water. guys welcome back to the channel today we are in an undisclosed location because i wanted to test out my dji mini 3 pro that just got in the mail so this morning i got it i did the unboxing and now we are going to do some field tests the main thing i really want to find out today is just a first flight impression oh my hair is sticking up Okay guys, we're at spot number one. We're gonna get the drone launched up real quick. So right now we're just gonna do some flight characteristic tests. It will also be a good time to test out and see what it feels like under really bright daylight. The sun's just right above me. If the screen is really bright enough. Initially, when you first get the drone, you can't fly it sideways like this. It's disabled. So you'll have to go under settings to enable it. So now we're just doing some quick flight check. Probably not the best I'm doing it over water. It's absolutely the worst idea, but all right, let's do it. So left, right, I'm just gonna let it hover. Right now we have 100% RC signal and we have 23 satellite and I'm currently at 94%. This feels good. So responsive, forward, backward, I would say this, the screen is bright enough under this like overcast. It is getting a little bit harder to see. I'm kind of like squinting. What I might need eventually is probably like a shade to go over it because when the sun is like right above you, no matter what you do, there's still gonna be a lot of glare. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna test out is the follow me mode. And I'm gonna try to multitask and record myself and ride the one wheel and hold on to the controller all at the same time. So we'll see, hopefully wish me luck. All right, let's do this. Is it doing it? Uh, all right, I'm gonna do active track and hit go. And hopefully the drone is following me. Looks like it's doing pretty well. That is pretty cool. All right, I'm monitoring it on my controller right now and it seems to be following me in a pretty good, decent pace. I'm going super slow anyway, it's like walking speed. So this is pretty awesome. Now we're gonna make a left turn onto the main road and see if it can just follow me all the way. We're at 69% battery. The battery is actually running down much quicker than I'm expecting on the original battery. So we'll see. Okay, now we have a little bit of headwind towards us and it seems to be doing okay. I'm going 2.4 meters per second. Now I'm gonna have it track sideways. So first I'm gonna hit active track. I'm gonna trace myself and I'm gonna hit parallel. So now it should follow me in a parallel fashion. Okay, I think I got it. 
Let's get it closer. I want more like a, a real parallel shot. You know, one of those like driving shots. Okay, so I think I got it. Okay, let's see. We are looking good. So it is tracking me. Parallel, a little bit slower than what I want. Let's give it a little help. Okay, that's perfect. <laughs> this is awesome. Anyway, we're gonna head over to spot number two right now, which is one of my favorite. It's a bridge, it's an old bridge. And I really wanna test out the sin mode and see how stable it is. It's nothing new to DJI, but it's on the Mini 3 Pro. So I wanna test it out. Let's go. Woo! Today I'm using the Osmo Action, it's the OG camera and I still love it till this day and I highly recommend it. Whoa! Huge! I'm glad my drone wasn't flying when these guys are around. Holy crap! I am a little stressed out about the battery because I'm at 42% battery right now. All right, so we're now at spot number two, which is one of my favorite place. This is like an old bridge. You can still walk on it, but it is becoming a little bit more dangerous. So I'm gonna get the drone out. I'm gonna fly along this bridge and do like a reveal of the wetlands, okay? So let's get going. First flight impression, I would say this. I feel like the battery life could be better. I'm surprised, at least on mine, uh, the battery seems like a little bit shorter after maybe because I was having so much fun, but I felt like it's more like a 20 minute flight time max. Okay, onto the controller. The flight characteristic, I would say these, the, the stick movements are very sensitive on the side to side movement. It's very fast. Like you do a slight tweak, it just goes during bright sunlight. Um, you will still have a hard time looking at the screen. It's still not bright enough to overpower the sun. Um, so the screen is great. I like it. The resolution is awesome. Overall, I'm very impressed. I am so excited about this. I'm going to Oregon next and I'll be bringing this with me and hopefully capture some pretty cool footage too. Anyway, this concludes the first flight reaction. Thank you so much for your support and watching this video all the way through and consider subscribing. I would really appreciate it. Thanks again. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.